Edo PDP. There are unanswered questions, but the rule of law is supreme. Dan Orby. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us once again on the channel. We'd like to say a very big welcome to you all. If you're joining us for the very first time, please do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Now to all of our existing subscribers, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our post as they come your way. Thank you and God bless you. Now the long drawn battle between the Edo State Governor um, Godwin Obasiki and the Vice Chairman of the South-South of the PDP, um, Dan Obi, which we thought um, had ended as um, INEC actually recognized the candidates which were produced by the later faction um, in the primary conducted in May, well, it seems like it sprang up again. Now, we know that both factions actually held different primaries um, that actually produced different candidates for the different elective offices. And we know that in September of 2022, um, a visit to the INEC headquarters in Benin City um, showed that INEC had pasted a comprehensive list on its notice board and all the PDP candidates on that list were the ones who emerged winners at um, the Dan Orbe's, um faction primaries. Well, we saw that there was a lot of jubilation by the Dan Orbe, um group, but it seems that that jubilation seems to have been um, cut short. Um, the Supreme Court has recognized that um, the candidates that emerged from the People's Democratic Party primaries in Edo State for the general elections loyal to Governor Godwin or Baseki of the state are those that should be recognized by the Independent National Electoral um, Commission. Now, following that Federal High Court judgment in favor of the Orbi group, um, INEC actually recognized um, the candidates on Dan Hobby's group. Uh, but we saw that um, Governor Basiki's group actually appealed to the Court of Appeal. And um, we see that the appellate court held that uh, the lower court ought not to have intervened in the matter as it was a party affair. And following that, the national leadership also recognized the primaries which was conducted um, by the Obasekis group. Now, dissatisfied, we saw that the Obi group actually added um, to the Supreme Court. Now, the APS Court, in his judgment, actually now aligned with the decision of the Appellate Court and which, by extension, gave validity to the Obasekis um, group's primaries. Now, we see that the Don Obi group is actually not happy with the judgment of the Supreme Court. Court, but we see Dan Obi actually um, trying to calm his faction down and um, telling them that they should just keep calm and there are a lot of unanswered questions, but the rule of law is always um, supreme. Well, we're going to go into the details of the report in full. The National Vice Chairman, South South of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has reacted to the judgment of the Supreme Court on the crisis surrounding candidates of the Edo State PDP for the 2023 elections. Now, Chief Obi calls for calm of all members of the legacy group and all party members in the state. Now, he described the long-drawn struggle in the party in the state as a patriotic fight for internal democracy, justice, inclusiveness, equity, and a better state. He said that he had no regrets for insisting that the principles of the party's constitution and the interest of the majority of its members are respected and institutionalized through a fair and transparent democratic process. Chief Obi thanked all members of the legacy group for their unwavering commitment to true democracy, justice,
fairness and the progress of the party, adding that the fruits of your just struggle will manifest in due course. We cannot bow to despondency or surrender to the whims of those who have abused the trust of the people through their obvious tyrannical tendencies, he urged. Now assuring the legacy group backed candidates of continued support, the People's Democratic Party's PDP's chieftain said, A lot of water has passed under the bridge. God knows what transpired. For our supported candidates and our dear leaders, you have done very well to defend the party. I am inspired by your unwavering commitment to fairness and through democracy. Trust me, you will never walk alone. I am with you. Now that is it on the details of today's report. And we can see um, Chief Dan Orby actually calling on the legacy group um, and all party members in the state um, to keep calm in respect to the Supreme um, Court judgment on the crisis within um, the PDP. And like he said, um, the long-drawn um, battle, the long-drawn struggle in the party um, as it was actually a patriotic fight for internal um, democracy, for justice, for equity, and um, a better state. And he's calling on all the members of the legacy group to just keep calm and stick with um, the judgment of the Supreme Court. And like he said, he actually has no regrets for insisting that um, the principles of the party's um, constitution and then the interest of the majority of its members are actually um, respected and institutionalized. And like he has said, he has thanked all members of the legacy group for their unwavering um, commitment and their support to true democracy and um, justice and is urging them that um, the fruits of their struggle would actually manifest um, in due um, course and he's assuring them of um, his backing and his continued um, support and like he said a lot of water has actually passed on the, um, the bridge but it's only God that knows what transpired and like he has also let them know that the rule of law is actually supreme and um, nothing can be done at um, this point. Well, that's it on the details of today's report. Until we'll come your way next time with more news happenings around the country, please do well to stay safe. Bye-bye.